Hi guys, welcome to another day and another video. And today, again, I don't have a specific MCQ for you. I want to work on the concept of linear programming uh, problem and particularly the dual case, right? So we've discussed what dual is, what primal is with an example in the previous uh, video. And today, uh, let's be a little more specific about it. So there's something called standard or canonical forms. What is a can canonical form when you're solving for dual? So canonical form is when your primal, when your primal, the condition for your primal is, it's a normal maximization or minimization LPP, right? So when it is a maximization, maximization LPP, all constraints must have less than or equal to sign, then we call it a standard or canonical form, okay? And the minimum, in case it's a minimum LPP, you know, where you have a problem of minimization, all constraints have greater than or equal to sign. These, are in, in case this happens or this happens, whichever is the problem that you're, the primal that you're dealing with, that would be called a standard or canonical form, okay? Now, what are we working on? We are working on how to find a dual of any given primal. So primal could be, uh, we would want it to be standard canonical form. It may or may not be. Now, there's another um, way of putting it. So the your, your primal could be called symmetrical and non-symmetrical. So symmetrical, what is a symmetrical primal? So we'll first try to find out, with an, we'll just take an example to find dual of a symmetrical primal. So a symmetrical primal basically is a canonical form, is a canonical form. So let me just take an example here. So suppose you have a symmetric primal. A symmetric primal is of the form, say, maximize z, which is, say, 5x1 plus 9x2, subject to the constraints that you have. x1 is less than or equal to 6. x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 13. x2 is less than or equal to 8 x1, x2, they are both greater than or equal to 0. So what has just happened is it's a canonical form only because what you can see is that it's a maximization problem wherein all the constraints are less than or equal to. And the variables are positive. So the additionally, what is happening is that the variables are positive variables are positive. So that's what is your symmetrical primal problem. Okay. Now for a symmetrical primal problem, the dual will be, dual is very simple. So dual will be what you will do. It's a maximization problem. So dual has to be, you'll be minimizing. So you'll be minimizing what you have on the right hand side, the constraint, the right hand side of constraint will become coefficient, will become coefficient of your dual, dual variables, say y1, y2, y3. So y1, with y1 you will have 6y1, so you have to minimize 6y1 plus 13y2 plus 8 y3 because you can see that there are three inequalities here so you'll have three so this one is associated to y1 this one is associated to y2 this one is associated to y3 okay so i'm giving you that kind of example here now what will be my constraints subject to what will be your constraint so I will first just concentrate on x1. So you have coefficient of x1 is 1. So you'll have y1, 1 into y1. 
coefficient of x1 in the second one is also 1. So it will be plus y2. So y1 plus y2. You don't have any uh, coefficient for x1. It's 0. So it will be this. And, and the right hand side. And on the right hand side, you will have 5. Because that's associated to associated to x1 here, coefficient of x1. Now, you had a canonical form, symmetrical form, symmetrical primal, which is, of course, canonical. So, you have for maximization all less than or equal to. So, for minimization, you'll have greater than or equal to here. So, this will be greater than or equal to. The second one will be for x2. From the first uh, inequality, nothing. From the second inequality, yes. Y2. 1 times y2 and from the third y3 and this will be greater than or equal to 9 which was with x2 right now the next thing will be that your y1 y2 and y3 they all will also be positive they all will also be positive and that is what your dual for the problem symmetrical primal form that we took so what you must have understood from here is that if it's a canonical form it's very simple finding dual is very very simple because all you have to do is your uh, inequalities reverse your coefficient matrix uh, you have to basically take the transpose and hence this is what you will get and here your variables were positive. Here also your variables are positive. But life is not always that ideal, right? So what if we have a, 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 a problem with mis mixed restrictions? What about dual of a primal which has mixed restrictions? So sometimes that can happen that you have greater than or equal to also and less than or equal to as well. So suppose you have, uh, let's take, an example only to understand this one as well. So suppose we have suppose we have to minimize 10x1 plus 20x2 subject to 3x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equal to 18 x1 plus 3x2 greater than or equal to 8 and 2x1 minus x2 is less than or equal to 6 where x1 and x2 they are greater than or equal to 0. So, in this scenario, I have to find the dual. In order to find the dual, I would actually here, I would convert it to a problem where I have all the inequalities in the constraint is greater than or equal to because it's minimization. So, canonical form basically what I'm trying to say. So, what we can do is we can say that this problem is minimizing 10 x1 plus 20x2 subject to 3x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equal to 18 x1 plus 3x2 greater than or equal to 8 and now what you can do is you can just you know multiply by minus 1 throughout and you will get minus 2x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to minus 6. It's the same thing, right? But now I have direction at the same direction greater than or equal to, right? This time I'm going to, you know, uh, make use of uh, matrix to throw light on this example. So in the matrix form, we basically are minimizing z, which is 10x1 plus 20x2. which could be taken as 10, 20 into x1, x2, that is Cx. Basically, you can take it as Cx, okay? And uh, in the matrix form, your uh, constraints subject to constraint, your coefficient matrix of the constraint would become 3, 1 minus 2, 2, 3, 
one, right? These are the coefficients of x1, x2, right? x1, x2 multiplied by x1, x2 and greater than or equal to and the constraint right hand side is 18, 8, minus 6, right? So that's the matrix form. Or in other words, this is what is Ax greater than or equal to B. We have where x1, x2 is greater than or equal to 0. I With this example, I just want to, you know, if you ever read uh, LPP in terms of matrix, you, you would know what they are talking about in any book that you refer. So therefore, the dual, we've been talking about transpose, transpose, though I've already given you an example what transpose would mean, but now it will be more clear. Dual for this problem would be, it would definitely be maximizing Right, we'll be maximizing which objective function we will be maximizing. If say we are taking y1, y2, y3, so we'll be maximizing 18 y1 plus 8 y2 plus not plus minus minus <clears throat> 6 minus 6 y3. Or we can also, you know, write it as matrix uh, form would be 18, 8, minus 6 into y1, y2, y3, right? That would give you this. The vector y1, y2, y3. So that would give you this, okay? Subject 2. A transpose y less than or equal to some C transpose, basically. C transpose is what C you had there. Now, it would be the transpose. So, it would be A transpose will be 3, 1, minus 2, 2, 3, 1, that multiplied by y1, y2, y3 and that would be giving you less than or equal to 10, 20. Okay. That would be giving you 10, 20. Or in other words, your constraint from here, you will get your constraint 3, y1 plus y2 minus 2 y3 is less than or equal to 10. 2 y1 plus 3 y2 plus y3 is less than or equal to 20. And y1, y2, y3 is also greater than or equal to 0. So this is the dual. The dual, in other words, is you were minimizing, the primal was minimizing. Now you are maximizing 18y1 plus 8y2 minus 6y3 subject to these constraints. Okay.